Happy Monday. It is uh, 540. This, uh, the time, time change has me messed up. Also, yesterday was Tanner's birthday, so we had a little Sunday fun day. The main priority this week is hauling in my contracts. I have a bill due early next week that's over $100,000. So I need all the money I can get out of my contracts because you don't get your money till the grain's hauled. And with the long lines and them being closed uh, about two days a week, it's taking a while to get my corn hauled. Now I could have two trucks running, but I've been choosing just to have uh, JD work on mechanical things, get planters ready to roll, stuff like that, rather than also sitting in line with me. So I could switch over that or I could call him back up. Corn's in there. Always gotta just double check because we have corn, beans, been kind of all over the place uh, in what's hauling and when and where. So she's a little cold. Okay, I mistakenly thought that with the time change, people would be sleeping in. I got here 35 minutes early and I'm the farthest back I've ever been coming early. So that's annoying. had an interesting adventure. Um, there was a train that was apparently out for over an hour around where I haul, and so that blocked the way I go home. Uh, but someone was really nice and told me uh, that it was unblocked like four streets down. So I took a little adventure, went a new way I'd never been, and uh, found my way home. had like 20 bushel of beans in the overhead so we were just running them back in the bean bin and the pipe that they're supposed to go in through into the bin got clogged up so JD's going to go whack on it now it's so annoying it's just such like the, <laughs> this should, should have been a like three minute job is going to turn into however long it takes so annoying I have to go to a meeting, but we've left JD in charge. Don't worry, Dad's there supervising him. Okay, so JD got corn running while I was gone, and now he is putting the auger in one of the bins, sweeping it out. First bin to get sweeped out. That's nice. So he's gonna do that while I haul. Okay, I am in line. Honestly, JD's cleaning out one of the bins right now working behind the sweep with the shovel. I'd so rather be doing that than sitting here in line. Getting an afternoon snack of peanut butter and a little bit of fudge and tea. Strawberries came in from the FFA. Love that fundraiser for me. It's 5.10. I need to leave early today because I have a meeting at 9, a meeting at 11, a meeting at 4.30, and a meeting at 6. I'm probably only going to be able to take the one load, uh, but I need to guarantee that I'm back in time for my first meeting. So that's why we're leaving a little early. Here 70 minutes before they open up and I'm the ninth truck in line. Wish I could go back to sleep for an hour, but like, there's no way. There's no way I can because it's spooky, scary skeletons. Um, but I have mail to go through, so I might do that.
Okay, it is 7.28ish. I have one more person ahead of me to probe. I'm so glad I got here when I did. Um, people got here, like, someone got here 20 minutes after me, and they were at the very, very end of the line. There's now, like, a full two lines the whole way. It's probably, like, a two-hour two wait. So, really glad I made the decision to come painfully early. Well, I've been hauling. JD's been working on the corn planter. Okay, just got done my crop insurance meeting. I picked 80% coverage. I really debated going to 85 because had I done 85 last year, um, I would have gotten a payment. But um, it's significantly more expensive. But with prices where they're at, there are a lot of people that are switching that coverage rate. I don't know. I've decided that I'm going to be super optimistic about this crop year. Maybe that's delusional and insane. I'm going to save myself some money and hope that we don't have a claim. I'm going to go down to Poet, and then our next meeting is at Poet. Um, so JD is going to drive my dad there, and then I'm going to switch out with him. He's going to take the load through the rest of the line. And then we'll see where our day keeps taking us. For lunch, I'm having a bag of salad. These things are so nice and convenient. What I do need to do is like prep some chicken, so I'm gonna have some protein in them though, because it's just a lot of vegetables. Okay, it's like two. Um, I'm back from the meeting that was at Poet. Now, my next meeting is 4.30 at the farm, so I can't risk taking another load of corn, which is annoying because they're gonna be closed tomorrow slash maybe the rest of the week. Um, but I'm going to switch and haul a few, a, lo a load or two of beans while I'm waiting for that next meeting to start. Okay, um, I passed my dad and JD on the road. Looks like they're going to get parts. Got my second load filled up. Okay, two loads hauled of beans. I have two more I'm going to take in tomorrow. Um, next meeting starts in like an hour. I'm going to take the time to uh, clean up the office a little bit. Meeting is done. I have 20 minutes until my last one. Okay, last meeting is over. It's 8 p.m. Good morning. I slept in until uh, 7 this morning uh, because Poet is closed. So I'm going to haul two loads of beans at some point. The other thing I have to do today is work on net worth statements uh, and like crop. It's like, uh, like what my crop planting intentions are, how many acres I'm renting, what's my rent annual rent, stuff like that. I need to get a whole bunch of information to add credit because uh, I have a yearly operating loan. I decided that if markets are up again today, I'm going to sell a little bit more. Um, it's 9.30. I load beans up. I'm taking them. Uh, I didn't do my paperwork. I didn't do my book work. I didn't want to. I didn't want to do it. Oh no. Okay, so I just called my plant because they still haven't announced if they're going to be open Thursday, Friday this week, and I need to make a game plan. Um, if I get all of my corn hauled into them, great. I don't need to take any money out of my operating loan to pay my big bill next week. However, if I don't, things are going to be tight, 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 um, which is like I can always take money out of my operating. It's fine. That's what it's there for but I don't want to since I've already had that corn contracted. I want to get it hauled, get it out of here. Um, and like normally, normally they're open all day, you know, five days a week. It's no big deal. Uh, but they had an issue and so they had to be shut down today. Uh, they think they're going to be closed Thursday. They might possibly be open on Friday, which is just annoying. Um, had I known it was going to be so spotty like this, I would have pushed to have been hauling more earlier in the month. Okay, called one place um, and they're actually not accepting any contracts right now. So can't make a contract there. They said probably in the next two weeks they can open it back up for contracts. I'm gonna wait and hear from the other the other person. Um, there's, a, there's a few other places I can call. We'll see. Okay, so I contracted 5000 at um, a place that I haven't hauled to before. I think I've hauled to one of their locations like six years ago. 
um, but I haven't hauled to this new location, but set up a, uh, an account. Um, I'm just gonna take 5,000, just kinda as a exploration, seeing what their facility is like. Um, and we'll, we'll see if that's a good new option. Okay, about to take my third load to the new grain facility. JD is working on the ripper. <laughs> Looks like JD is servicing the 9330. I'm gonna put the truck away after I upset a uh, minor little spill there. Okay, I got my three loads hauled. I have three more loads. I'm going to haul to that facility tomorrow as well. I'm so glad I did this. I'm so glad I did this because uh, the ethanol plant is going to be closed tomorrow for sure. And then um, I think they are gonna be open all day on Friday, but I'm just, I'm glad I'm not just sitting around like hoping, hoping they'll be open. Uh, and th you know, that's building some stress for me. Um, so new new place uh this has kind of inspired me to like really kind of keep a, a good eye on all the surrounding uh places i can haul to i do have a general sense of where the bids are sitting elsewhere um but yeah i, I kind of worked it up in my head is that it would be like tricky learning learning a new facility and it was really easy i did not think that there was rain in the forecast but it was like coming down this morning <laughs> Like woke me up, thunderstorming. Huh, but at least it's not super super cold out. Got three loads to haul to that new facility. Um, I think I have a bean check I can pick up. I'll be kind of on my way home with my last load. We'll see what else happens today. My dad's pulling in the parking lot now. Okay, not leaving the shop until uh, it's like 8.45. Uh, someone stopped by, took care of that. Called two people, took care of some few random things. Now we're going, and it feels so nice to be like, oh, I wonder if I can get my three loads in. I know I'm gonna be able to get my three loads in, barring something bad happening. I need to knock on wood now with my luck though. So at this location, you have to wait a while after you probe for them to test your load because they're looking for low vomitoxin, and we have had high vomitoxin in our area before. So the ethanol plant I hauled to, they can take like 15 parts per million right now. Um, some places take up to eight. I believe this is up to eight, but you might have to dump at a different location if it's high. Um, so you have to sit here anxiously for a little bit before you can go dump. Things that they always test for is the moisture of the corn, if there's any damage, foreign materials, and then uh, the bucket weight. Okay, that contract is full. Now I just need to figure out how I get paid for it. <laughs> um, Every facility is kind of different on like if they routinely cut checks once a week or if they do automatic deposit or if you have to go pick up a check. Um, I need to figure that out. It's 5.40. It's raining. It's cold out. It's windy. Oh, but it's Friday. I got to the ethanol plant 43 minutes early. I snoozed my alarm for five minutes and now I have like two or three trucks and then we're to the road. understand how when you shatter a window you can never fully get all the pieces picked up we we uh busted out i think the back the back window and the uh backhoe last year two years before it could i don't even know a long time ago enough that i can't even remember how it happened i i don't think i did it i don't think i did it i think i'd remember if i did it uh but still finding still finding Little pieces of glass. Okay, uh, buried Sophie. Um, went and met with the grain fire for the first time, which is like, she probably thought I was crazy because they looked like I had been crying. Um, cut an absolutely horrible rut uh, in the yard. 
at the back hoe just because it's been super, super wet around here. Yeah, I cut the rut. I did not cut the rut, but I thought the back hoe was going to be stuck for a while. Now to take the last load of corn for the day to pow it. I got Chinese food for my lunch slash dinner. Happy Friday. Hey, it is Saturday morning. It is beautiful out. Uh, it is supposed to get windy and rainy tonight. Um, I need to sh shoot an ad that I'm going to be posting next week. It's a very quick turnaround that has me a little bit stressed just because I need good lighting, not too much wind because I have to be talking outside. Um, I finished painting my bedroom last night. It looks good. Got all my furniture moved back in. Uh, I need to run to the bank. What else? That might be it. Living in Ohio, isn't it crazy how like the first couple days when you notice everything greening up that you're like, oh my goodness, I did not realize how much I missed the color green. This is like, this is gorgeous. I could look at this for a long time. Uh, but anyway, I, I came, I trekked out uh, my trucks back there someplace. I trekked out here to see what this waterway looked like. We had this installed. I can't remember if it was the fall before last fall or if we had it put out um, right before spring last year, but I just wanted to see what the waterway looked like. And I'm going to do a video uh, kind of talking about some of the, the beneficial things of waterways. Uh, but wow, this is nice. Uh, I'm going to insert a video of what this area looked like before. And uh, definitely helping, definitely helping with the erosion here. Have a good day. Happy 